So I'm a tax attorney, um, that's a field, and I'm fun, right? So most people don't see fun tax attorneys. What's important to me is customer service. So I call Mike and say, this is, this is not going well, or this is going really, really well. And they, they wanna hear the good, the bad, and the ugly so they can make themselves better. And that's very much appreciative. I keep on mentioning Mike McKay, cause I'll call him. I know the organization has grown and they can't get on the phone all the time with me, but it, it makes me feel better that I can call Mike or call Garen and I say, hey, I have some new members that's been added to my team. Can you educate them? Because we are certified implementation partners and we need to make sure we make you look good too. So educate us. Like I'm looking to build the international arm of Avalara Compliance as well. I called Garen. Hey Garen, you know that program you made for us domestically? I need you to make it internationally. It's like I'm working on it, D. For instance, software as a service, SaaS, as we all know it. Um, in Chicago, in Illinois, it's not taxable, but in Chicago it is as a lease tax. And so at first, Avalara didn't have a code, a product mapping code for that. And so we called them like, hey guys, this would make our jobs easier if you guys created a, a separate code to allow us to, when we have a client that's selling in Chicago, we can automatically put 000572 instead of us having to write some custom tax rule. So that was a good instance where Avalara listened to us. Because like I said, it's a mutual um, partnership that we have going. If I'm bringing, my client is no longer just my client. It's Avalara's client once I loop Avalara in.